Thank you so much for staying on News Desk. Before we bring you business news updates, we're still talking World Press Freedom. And the theme for this year is Media for Democracy, Journalism and Elections in Times of Disinformation. Kobe joins me here. We'll do tech news as usual on Friday, but today we are focusing on disinformation, mm. fake news. It's a big deal yeah. uh, for media practitioners in today's world. Mm. And as, as part of celebrating World Press Freedom Day today, the UN has decided to focus on this theme, Spikey. Tell us how we can use technology to deal with this because you have people questioning legitimacy of elections uh, mm -hmm. because or someone may have said this and it contradicts what another person said and there's just so much chaos. Well, most of this stems from social media. That's become like the mother load of fake news right now. Everybody goes to social media to get their news and you're there and then you find something that you think is shareworthy. For all you know, that story is fake. And Facebook, on the other hand, it's the largest social media network in the world, has come up with technology to battle this. So one such thing, one such technology I experienced recently was I was scrolling down my timeline and I saw a story about a man who pretended to be deaf, deaf for yeah. about 40 years. And the next post was a fake news that, you know, alert. alert telling me that that post that I just saw was fake news. Now that was very good because I would have shared this thinking, oh, this is shareworthy, this is interesting. Only for me to see that the next post. So I actually took a screenshot and shared on my Facebook page saying that, hey, this story is actually fake news and Facebook is showing you how to identify fake news. But they can't do that without the help of the citizens. So say, if you know that a story is fake, and let's say you have a blog, you can actually post out there that it's fake news and then share it. So the artificial intelligence scars the internet and finds that this story has a headline that it's mm. fake news that someone is purporting to be true now this helps a lot but it once again requires it, us it, it can be quite troubling because yes. kobe i saw that post you put mm -hmm. up on facebook but but the thing is a few days after i realized that a newspaper and i wasn't too sure it was if it was local or international mm. because i could not see the the but but the newspaper had published the yes. story believing it and so there's this huge problem created by uh, by 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 social media mm. for us who work in, within the media space but hey the point is that for we as media people we fall for for the fake news and our audience also fall for it yeah. sometimes i remember uh, there was news about Thabo Mbeki dying mm -hmm. and one very big prominent media house here in Ghana published that story Without so verifying. without verifying so 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 how do we identify so apart from facebook telling mm. us what what should we be looking out for are there any softwares applications anything to help there you there is google okay. which is <laughs> which is the i mean it's it's a database for everything so if you want to find out if something is true or not all you have to do is just google for instance there's been news of celebrities dying and all that all i just do is i go to their wikipedia page and go and check the description. Most of the time when someone, someone dies, within 24 hours that is updated, that this person is dead. So you have the born, blah, 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 and then the died date. So you can just Google it, Google that information. If you don't find it on prominent news sites, it's not true. For instance, you'd see this coming from mynews123.com. Is that a site that you trust such information from? But if you see it coming from like CNN, BBC, Major Online, then yes, you should trust it. So once again you have to verify if you don't find it on your your sites that you usually visit the ones that you trust i don't think you should trust it well kobe <laughs> thank you very much uh, hopefully we will come up with more softwares applications that can help all of us deal with the issue of disinformation today is world press freedom day we're talking about how technology can help all of us deal with disinformation in these times no, business news is coming up shortly thank you spikey thank you